What's going on, guys? After a sloppy day of practice yesterday, the Jets bounced back looking sharp all around. I'm here to save you a bunch of clicks on Twitter. If you appreciate that, a thumbs up is an easy way to show it. Also, if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and do that now so you don't miss any of my daily Jets training camp updates. So we got to start uh, with some headlines right off the top. Uh, Brandon Marshall, one of the best single seasons by a New York Jet ever. Uh, he was in the house throwing around the football, catching up with the dudes. Love to see that from B Marsh. Um, now it was a padless practice, kind of a Saturday morning walkthrough kind of vibe with the off day tomorrow. And then the first preseason game on Friday, uh, some health updates, nothing really new to note. Uh, Carl Lawson was limited, but just a veteran, uh, rest day and DJ Reed, Ty Johnson, Vinnie Curry, Brandon Eccles, uh, still sitting out. Hopefully, uh, you know, those guys can get back in there next week, starting to get a little worried about DJ Reed and that hamstring, uh, multiple times this off season, he's had to miss time with the hammy now. Zach Wilson started off completing his first six passes. A lot of short swings, check down screens to the running back, trying to get the ball out quickly. Uh, love to see that. And that streak was broken by a drop by Corey Davis. More on that in a little bit. And then in red zone drills, uh, on a naked play action boot, saw an opening and took it for a long touchdown run. Love to see Zach more opportunistic with his legs. Then we go into the move the ball period. He's five for five to start there. A lot of short slants uh, to Corey Davis, Elijah Moore getting the tight ends involved too. That drive did cap off with a touchdown pass over the middle. Another short slant to Corey Davis. So Zach Wilson was 13 of 16 on the day. Two touchdowns, no picks, and a long rushing touchdown. And all three of his incompletions were drops. So essentially a perfect day of practice for number two. And it's highly unofficial. I've been doing my best to track this. But Zach Wilson's last four practices, plus the green and white scrimmage, if we adjust for drops and throwaways, he's completing over 80% of his passes. If we protect him and we catch the damn ball, this kid has what it takes absolutely now what other good news do we have uh the pass production obviously was much improved especially for a day without pads zach wilson had more time and obviously the offense was designed to be a little bit more quick moving i expect to see that in our first preseason game especially without a new right tackle uh, in the building just yet sauce gardner uh continues to just shut down uh garrett wilson and give Corey davis a hard time he has blanketed uh, his fellow first round pick anytime it seems that they are matched up with a really good pass breakup on a maybe a would be touchdown, a 25 yard ball to the corner of the end zone that sauce just got one of those long fingertips on preventing Garrett Wilson from coming away with the catch. Now, Corey Davis did start off with a drop, but he bounced back catching multiple touchdowns, one from Flacco, one from Zach Wilson. Corey Davis uh, continues to be the Jets uh, seemingly go to red zone target. Him and Tyler Conklin are the go to's when we get down towards the goal line. And the only bad here is the drops. Now, Corey Davis did have one. Garrett Wilson did have multiple drops, including a wide open uh, would be touchdown from quarterback Mike White. Really the only knock on the rookie coming out of Ohio State University had nearly a 9% drop rate uh, last year. He's good at everything else. He's just got to catch the ball. So, you know, I'm sure he'll clean that up. We heard the same thing about Jamar Chase last uh, training camp, and he did just fine. Excuse me. Uh, now, some competitions to get into. Uh, I had Zach Rosenblatt on yesterday, and we were talking about Quan Alexander, Quincy Williams, and he expects Quincy Williams to be the starter when the Jets go 4-2-5 and then Quan Alexander to rotate in. So we love that for Quincy. Uh, good for him. He's having a really good camp quietly. And then the kickers, uh, Zerloin was 5-5 five for five today. Pinheiro was 4-5. for five. I think if it's close, they'll probably go with Zerloin, who has the bigger leg and the more experience. Hey, a message of hope <laughs> after we lost Makai Becton. We're going to be all right. Click down below for some optimism and we'll talk ball tomorrow.